let's take a trip down to memory lane to the late 90s where most gamers would consider to be the pinnacle of gaming with all of the gaming industries fighting to put out absolute bangers a console war was created thus creating a major divide between gamers and their favorite game boxes dash stations what console was the best PS1 or N64 Though there was other competition like Neo Geo and Genesis, those paled in comparison when it came to the big dogs, Sony and Nintendo. They were battling out. The PS2 was just announced, only for Nintendo to clap back with the GameCube later on. But that's beside the point. What really matters is how you grew up and what console influenced you as a young and impressionable gamer. For me, I loved both and favored the PS1 because of RPGs and the lack of on the Nintendo 64. I had a Nintendo 64 for the longest time before I could get my grubby little hands on a PS1. Don't get me wrong, the Nintendo 64 was no slouch, and to be honest, as a kid, I always thought the PS1 was strong. But turns out, the N64 is more capable graphically than the PS1, with less of a polygon look. The PS1 had a disk drive, which made it able to hold more data and see those CGI videos. N64 could only dream of Until I found out the PS1 is actually easier to emulate than the N64, I was kind of shocked. Well, it kind of makes sense now. To continue, since I couldn't play a PS1 until much Welcome. later on, a few years later, the N64 was all I had. And I tried many of the 393 officially released titles. Out of those, I played every genre you can imagine. RPGs, fighting games, shooting games, adventure games, and even a few racing games. There wasn't too much of a good selection out there, to be honest. With Mario Kart being the most popular at the time. Other than that, there were many clones like Diddy Kong Racing or other, there was a couple other cool racing games as well like Star Wars Racer, F-Zero, and those were just a few. But eventually, there was one game that I encountered, Beetle Adventure Racing. This game was absolutely insane. On the surface, it might seem kind of lame. A racing game with only Volkswagen Beetles that was a Mario Kart clone? But wait, hear me out. This is actually a hidden gem. It actually got a 9.1 score from IGN and has is critically acclaimed and respected. Definitely one of my top favorite games as well. I would give it a 5 out of 5 in the era at the time it came out. And honestly, it, besides Mario Kart, this was probably my second. If not, it might have been more favorable than Mario Kart. And that's my honest opinion. Even to this day, this game has a legit multiplayer cheat codes to unlock creatively by the developers as you progress a good amount of unlockable vehicles, a championship mode with various other modes as well, type player to race against your bro, sis, cousin, grandma, or friend. There's even tricks and flips you can do with the Beatles themselves by holding the C buttons and rotating the sticks. There's a bunch of cool easter eggs and dozens of hidden shortcuts throughout the insane amount of levels you will encounter. Each level has dozens and so many hidden paths and shortcuts that you can um, find. It, it's, it is a blast to play and just 
try to drive around a new route every time you play a new level. So with that being said, welcome to Beetle Adventure Racing. Today I'm going to be showcasing you guys one of the most legit racing games in the Nintendo 64 era that, in my opinion, deserves more respect on its name. I don't know if much people know about this game. It has such great ratings, I don't understand why there hasn't been a, a part 2. I mean, besides it being a racing game, this shit has really good mechanics, a good 2 player mode, the beetle battle mode, there's a bunch of different options and various modes. Today, we're just going to be playing a... There's, instead of single race, we're going to be playing championship race. This is how you unlock, um, you know, first you start off as a novice. As you get advanced and more professional, you unlock more codes, more vehicles. There's, there's one, um, let's see. d -Lo. I don't know, that's just the name. So, these are the various beetles. These are the various beetles right here, guys. So far since it's the beginning I haven't unlocked anything but you can unlock a bunch of different ones like you can unlock the alien car, you can unlock the cop car, a bunch of other cool looking beetles that are faster and better acceleration and handle way better. This game is very simple, it's just fun and simple, there's no BS to it, that's what I like about it. And nice oh, oh crap, so we're going to start off getting the yellow boy but lucky for us we can change the color actually. Um, we're going perks, nice and on this one, this reminds me of the Gran Turismo 7 that if you, that I've been playing recently a lot, guys. Believe it or not, this, this is shocking, but this game plays very similar to Gran Turismo 7, and I'm not even capping. I know this sounds ridiculous. A PS5 game plays like a Nintendo 64 game plays like a PS5 game. Well, let me tell you, go ahead and try this manual mode and tell me this does not play like Gran Turismo 7. Welcome to not exactly, but it, it, I haven't played this yeah. game in years, and um, when I jumped right back into it, I felt right at home, since I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo. Look on my channel. Check out that content. Alright, guys. Oh. Oh, shit. So, to accelerate, we're going to be holding down. It's, oh! Okay, my controls are messed up, bro. Surprisingly, this game plays similar to Gran Turismo. It has some kind of the same feel. And I'm not even counting. It is crazy to me that a Nintendo 64 game will play just like a PS5. I haven't played this game for ages, guys, but I still feel it right out of hand. And that's the cool thing about this game. Why it's so fun is it's great. Oh, pick it up. Start off. This is supposed to be short. But this is fun. Some shortcuts on this game, guys. I'm going to try to show you guys a couple. So I can go down here for a little detour. There's a little shortcut right here. I'm not going to lie, guys. But I will win. Level. We're in the 
first place. I'm gonna be fucking sure. You might want to save one for the last lap because, uh, believe it or not, once you hit those boxes, they don't come back for the full rounds, for the full lap. So maybe use a, a box a lap or two boxes each lap. Save, save some box. Oh shit, I missed. All right, because our one. There is a reset button on this game. You can literally you can get stuck in the reset anytime. Oh, here's a fucking reset. Um, you can literally reset at any time, guys, on this game. Which I like. But, just make sure you don't accidentally tap the R button like a dumbass or while you're working. You do something like this. Good thing I'm a professional, right? Okay, this guy's about to catch it. I don't think there is a button that lets you look back in here. Not that I know what it is. Yeah, that's the button. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go, let's go. ourselves guys oh I was slacking I was on third gear for a minute but I hit this road I'm on the highway boy I'm on the max power right now Woo, yeah 126 I guess that's where our engine max is out at let's go just like that see ya place record time we're all Yay. of course we advance to the next level guys welcome to mount mayhem, mount mayhem. this one is one of my favorite Ready. even though it's the second level this has so much freaking easter eggs on this one guys it's insane Alright, so these guys just straight accelerate way faster than me. You just say, hey, I thought you were accelerating faster because you're a man. That's because I don't know how to shift properly on this game. I'm sure I would have freaked out. Like, shift the fucking pattern and how it would have been accelerated faster. Or maybe this has poor acceleration but high top speed. I'm not sure. There's some beetles that have different stats and stuff like that. This one has a high high as top speed, so that's where I work on this. The fact that I have manual and have the highest top speed, and these guys have some chance. So this is our first little secret on this level, I guess. Go through here. Boom. And we have two options. We either go straight. Or you can do even another secret. S slow down a little bit. And you pick this wall. Uh, instead of hitting that, go down here. Oh shit, this is where we gotta prove ourselves. Top speed, baby. 100, 100! 120! Oh, we missed it! Fuck! That was bullshit. Oh! Oh, I'm in neutral. Alright, guys, you guys are probably saying, dude, you suck. You guys will be right. I want to, I'm just showing you guys Easter egg. Check this out. Boom! This is my favorite right here. If you go over here, and uh, there's a fucking UFO, guys. Look at this Easter egg, man. When I was a kid and I found out about this, I was absolutely awe. I was like, whoa. Uh, it, I thought there was something beyond that, but it's just the UFO as long as far as I know. I remember I, just, I had to stop and it was crazy, guys. I was like, I was invested in this whole map. I fucking love the atmosphere in this game, guys. So we're playing on Novice, obviously. This is not that hard. But this game gets hard as fuck, guys. Like, I think I think if I was fast enough, I could take this route. And I can do a secret, but I'm definitely not fast enough to do that. Right not fast enough yet. Yeah, I gotta unlock other cars. The cool thing is, once you get a faster car, you can a lot more secrets and stuff. I'd be the first. Bring this shit to the Nintendo Switch. Bring this shit.
shit back. Put this shit online with a bunch of people to play and holy shit, this would be Yes, bro. This shit was online, like the same game, but with HD texture packs. Shit. Inferno Isle. Alright, so Inferno Isle, this is where the track starts to get a little bit more difficult. And the tricks actually, or the secrets of Easter eggs start to get a little bit more lively. I literally forgot everything about this level that I'm about to show you guys, so I'm pretty sure there's Dino on this level. I might miss it though, because. This is like Mario Kart how there's the sand level. You know, Mario Kart has the, the snow level. This is like the beach level. boys oh oh he's gonna fucking win boys oh you can't look back guys I figured it out oh he won alright so there is a button to look back one moment now go for advance let's go baby we, we won that was it one player championship, championship. Oh, we, we won the advanced mode? Alright, so the advanced mode has alternate levels, because I remember there's like a pyramid advanced level. Circuit. Oh, we unlocked a new whip! Let's go! Check it out, guys. Oh, we unlocked a couple new whips. So now we got... Damn, that shit fast, boys. Look at that shit. So I'm pretty sure you need something with really good top speed and handling to do tricks. I just want to see how fast this goes. This rage, boys. Damn, this shit is quick. Ooh, I'm just zooming. What's the top speed on this bad boy? Top speed on this bad boy, 130. So 126, I think, was the other one's top speed. This one went to 130. But it goes way faster. The acceleration is good. This shit, boys. Oh, we made it, boys! We fucking made it! This is going. This is gonna make us. Oh, we didn't do it! Fuck! Oh shit, we're still. Oh my god! Oh my god, boys! All right, fucking comment. Let me know if, you're gonna, if I'm gonna win or not. Comment, guys. Comment in the comment section. Am I gonna win or not? I swear to God! Oh my god, boys! Oh, it's so close! So fucking close, boys! Go on, get straight on. Let's fucking go! First!
remember it last time. Burn all aisles. Last time I was like, ready, ready, Oh my god, this is different. Sunset Sands. I'm sure it's the last level right here. You know how much short that's on this one. Let's go, baby! Oh, swag. Let's go, swag. We are just on fire now, boys.
following him. He knows what he's doing, I don't. Beep, beep. Get the fuck off the way. Oh, he's stopping on me. He's pressing his brakes. Really, bro? You brake checking me? Get your ass out the way, bro. Race is finished. 50, baby. Hit 100. 100. 130, baby. Good, that little rat got me. What did we win? What did we win? One, One player. Pawn. I want to see what kind of um, Up what here. kind of cheats we unlocked. Radar. If that's all we unlocked so far. Okay. Um, let's see. One player. One player. Championship. Championship. Professional. We unlock professional Bro, mode, guys. I'm gonna enter and I'm gonna see what we unlock. Damn! Woo! Shit, boys. Look at what we unlocked right here. Fire. Uh. All right. So it looks like. Oh, is that a wide body? Look how low that one sits to the floor. That shit is fucking low, boys. Look at that. The ass on that just drops. I like this one, bro. I really do. I like how it sits fucking low. It's on some coil layers. This one got, looks like it's a wide body. That one looks like it's a fucking off-road vehicle. Damn, boys. We're going with the, it's the fastest one. Damn, this shit is stupid fast. Holy shit, guys. Alright, so that's going to do it for part one. I'm pretty sure after we, um, I'm going to go ahead and beat professional mode. And um, after that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to unlock the alien car and we'll be back. Right, so after grinding the game for about an hour and 20 minutes to beat it on uh, professional mode, we unlocked the bonus mode. Bonus Believe it or not, professional mode was actually way more fast paced. The AI was freaking on their game. So, just hold on real quick guys, stick with me. Um, I'm actually gonna do this bonus mode, hopefully I unlock the alien car. This goes. Oh, we unlocked the alien car, lit. So I think the bonus stage actually unlocks the cop car. All right, so you guys see how the alien car is almost maxed out, boys. You can't even change the color on all these other ones. I really like this one, bro, how it's dropped. This one, this is the one I used to win. This shit is zippy, boys. I was flipping around. This motherfucking wide body was this low, this low. But yeah, I'm gonna use the alien car, guys. I'm going manual like always. Let me tell you guys, it is ramped up the difficulty on professional mode. I'm actually gonna do a professional road race. Oh shit, is this like stupid hard? Is this on super super hard now? Oh wow, I did it. Let's go, y'all saw that? I didn't even know I watched it. Let's go. Bro, this thing is spinning 105 and 104. So I'm gonna do a trick. somebody hard enough they will break believe it or not on the last games i played i didn't record to unlock in this alien car oh oh swag swagzilla i don't care if i didn't like that was swag I, this shit must be on super super hard bro if they're just messing up the alien car for 132 miles per hour because these guys can see and i'm last place like Next round or next race is I'm not obviously I'm gonna quit the championship. I was just gonna show you guys. Oh you bastard! Alien car. 
on expert mode. Okay. Metro Madness. I haven't even played on expert mode. I think that's what it was. Good this shit's gonna be hard. We got this bad boy. Nice you know what? I'm just gonna. I don't know if I should try automatic. Just so I could dr drift easier. I'm gonna try automatic the whole time I've been playing this game. I've been playing it in manual. So we're gonna see the difference. Uh, we just did that first level. Man, this is a hard ass level. Alright, guys, when I say that the AI, I love this level that we unlocked. This was on the last one that I played. So whenever you reset, it gives you a boost. You guys see how I reset on purpose? That's because it, it actually got me up to speed way faster. Check this shit out, guys. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, I like this first person. <laughs> Get up and close to personal, we can get a little far, get some distance, make it look small. This ain't bad actually. Whoa! Yo! Yeah, this shit ain't doing no tricks, bruh. 